So in today's presentation, we're going to talk about Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. It was named after the American astronomer Edwin Hubble. It was developed as a cooperation between the European Space Agency and the United States Space Program. And overall, the Hubble Space Telescope has greatly contributed to the to important discoveries about our universe, employment, and interest in astronomy. In the next slides, we are going to talk about the main features of this telescope. And Hi, um, there are two questions. There's some brief information about Hubble Telescope. The Hubble Telescope plays in universe because it plays a role to gather light from objects in space. The Hubble Telescope orbits about 547 kilometers above the Earth, and its altitude is 550 kilometers. It takes about 96 minutes to rotate the Earth. And now let's talk about the AM spectrum. The AM spectrum of the Hubble Telescope is not only like cable to supplying objects in visible light, but it's also including the ultraviolet and infrared. In addition to that, the observation enables astronomers to monitor of the object's physical characters such as velocity and temperature. And now let's move to the, the wavelength of the Hubble uh, Space Telescope. We have like five instruments. First of all, cosmic organic spectrograph. This is like detect the uh, UV lights and study how galaxies and planets form it and change. And this, the, the next one is the near, the near infrared near infrared camera and multi objects and this picture as we see it's taken by this camera it's like it's take picture in the deep space by like the sensor the, the sensor by the heat that uh, the objects emitted and the third one the space telescope imaging spectrograph this helps it to determine the temperature and the dynasty and the motion of the object and the fourth one, the Wild Field Camera 3. Uh, this uh, camera studies everything uh, from the formation of the galaxies and the planets and solar system. And the last one is the Advanced Camera for Surveys. It's like it's like image that capturing large area of space. Let's move to the design of telescope. Hubble Telescope has an optical system with mirror base. It captures the unique view from the space. The required temperature is about 21 degrees Celsius because the mirror can be bent if the temperature is higher than that degree. There are two main mirrors in Hubble telescope. One, one is the primary mirror which causes reflection because the shape of mirror is concave and the other is the convex secondary mirror that concentrate the light and the telescope is 13.2 meters long and 11,110 kilograms. As you can see, the, when the light strike the primary mirror, which is concave, it is reflected to the convex secondary mirror then back through a hole in the center of the primary mirror. Then the light comes to the focal point and passes to Hubble's instrument. Just as human can see visible light, Hubble can see wide range of light via process that I mentioned before. The brightness of Hubble telescope is less than 4.0, so it could be seen in the early morning in Australia. Hubble has two primary cameras named Advanced Camera for Surveys and the Wide Field Camera 3. These two systems work together to capture, to capture images of the cosmos over a broad range of wavelengths. It does not travel to stars, planets, or galaxies. It, it takes pictures of them as orbit the, the Earth. Four antennas in Hubble telescope connected to communication information in Earth, and Hubble generates about 10 terabytes of new data per year. 
And now let's talk about the research of the Hubble Space Telescope. Like the image is taken by Hubble Space Telescope helped science to estimate the age and the size of the universe, which is like 14 billion years old. And, and like this Hubble Space Telescope helped science to help the science to understand how the formation of the planets and galaxies. And this picture was taken, uh, taken by the Hubble's ultra deep field. This, this is the further galaxies in the universe. And lastly, the Hubble telescope discovers that the, the, expand, the expansion of the universe. Justification. Over 30 years operating, Hubble Space Telescope has done over 1.4 million observations. Politically, the HST has given um, the United States of America uh, such prestige due to the successful missions and discoveries that this has performed and achieved. Economically, the Hubble Space Telescope has given has been an stable generator of employment for many people, such as scientists and and engineers who scientists who are constantly basing their publications on the observations done by these telescopes, and engineers who are constantly working on the maintenance of this telescope. In addition, it enhances interest in astronomy. In conclusion, we can say that the Hubble Space Telescope, we have covered all these areas in our presentation, and we can say that the Hubble Space Telescope has been a main factor for new discoveries of our galaxy and world space availability. And the design of this telescope and its optical system have played an important role on it. Thank you so much. Stop recording.